All right, today we're going to start uh, making the gussets. They go here along this bottom tube and gusset along to here, as well as the one that's going to go back here and along the top there. So I'm going to use the same 16 gauge plate uh, that I used to make that motor plate and uh, pick this up to show you. There's the plate again, got all my tools and everything. Wish I could plug in my plasma cutter, uh, but I don't have 220 here. So uh, just use the angle grinder with the cutoff disc and uh, we'll make our plates. All right, here we are looking at the underside of the motor plate again. And I'm just gonna make a quick point here. Ideally, you would like your brace to come all the way to the end here. But I'm only gonna make it four inches. And the reason for that is, is as you saw in uh, one of the last videos, is my sheet metal brake is on the ground. And so if I make the bend, the length of the bend smaller, it'll be easier to bend. Now adding an extra inch is not that big a deal, but four inches will be enough. And the reason I'm going to make it a flanged uh, fitting. It's going to be just straight butt welded to the uh, tube here, but up here it's going to be flanged and then on the top I'm going to do rosette welds and same with this back piece. But I'm only going to make it four inches just so it's easier to work with uh, in the press break. Pick this up here. And you can see here, got my template, or I got my gussets marked out. Basically, I'm going to cut along this line. This is going to be a flange. This is going to be bent at least 90 degrees. Well, it'll be a little bit more uh, for the back, and this is the flange for the front, or vice versa. It doesn't matter. They're, they're identical pieces. So I'll get this cut, and then we'll put them in the press brake. That one's hot. All right, so I made a little bit of a fool of myself with the last video. I was trying to bed metal in my uh, sheet metal brake while it's here on the floor. So like I said, I made these a little shorter. So hopefully I won't need to use the, uh, uh, those big pipe wrenches to give myself some extra leverage. So we'll get these in here and we'll give these a shot. Here goes nothing. Oh yeah, so much easier. Now these actually need to go greater than 90. So, there's one. Then we'll get this one. That one may need to be the rear. Flip this over on the front. So it needs to go like that. Okay. There's two flanged gussets made. So now we'll go try them out. All right, so I got my brackets made. Everything's ready. This is the front one. It goes up in there, about like that. And of course, this is the back one. And it goes the back, kind of like, or just like that. So, 
we got these done. And what I've already done up here on the top, as you can see there, I made some sharpie marks, and that's where I'm going to drill holes for the uh, rosette welds. So I'll get the drill and uh, I'll start drilling. Okay, so when you're drilling holes in metal, you always start with the smallest drill bit that you've got. And this one, uh, uh, maybe a little bit bigger than an eighth of an inch, but maybe as much as three sixteenths of an inch. Uh, but that's still pretty small. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to drill out all eight holes with this drill bit, and I'm going to come back with this step drill bit. I like to use these, they do make a really nice round hole. These uh, fluted drill bits tend to make sort of an oval hole. Uh, and that kind of doesn't really matter on, a, on something like this where I'm just going to put plug welds in there. But uh, even then, these are still real nice to use. I recommend that you uh, pick one of these up. But the trick to drilling holes in metal is to always start with the smallest drill bit you, uh, that you can use. If you use a really, really tiny drill bit, uh, do very, very light pressure because uh, it will break. And I've even broken drill bits this size pretty easily. Uh, smaller, the eighth inch, it doesn't take a whole lot of pressure to break those. So. Go in the right direction and uh, we'll get started drilling these holes. Now we're done drilling all the pilot holes and we will uh, come back in here with a step drill bit and uh, drill these holes out. I think I'm going to drill these out to about 5 sixteenths. That should be uh, plenty uh, for these little rosette welds. This is only 16 gauge so not a lot of heat that needs to go in there. And that's it. We're done drilling the holes. Now we'll just flip the bike over and uh, deburr uh, the bottom side of the plate. All right, here's the underside. As you can see, there's quite a burr on all these little holes. So I'll come in there with the grinder and get that off so we get a nice flat mating surface for our little gusses to weld onto. And so let me go get the grinder.